Hey guys, I'm quickly going to take you through the Android app publications process. So when you get to the publish page, you will notice that you've got your Android APK version over here. Now the APK version is what is needed to upload to the Android store or to the Google Play store. You will also notice that there's an Android version for generate source code. Unless you are a true app developer that can write all these funny languages, you would rather stay away from that. That is just for people that want to download the source code and then adapt it on their own by writing code, which is exactly the reason we bought Mobimatic so that we don't have to do that. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to generate your APK. Once you've done that, you're going to download the latest APK by clicking right over there. After you clicked on generate APK, it normally takes a couple of minutes for it to generate the latest version. You're going to download it and then you're going to head over to your Google Play console. Now, if you don't have a Google Play developer console uh, account just yet, you will add on, you will land on this page where you will log in with your Google details. And then you are going to click there. I agree and am willing to associate my account registration with the Google Play Developer Distribution Agreement. And you're going to click continue to payment. Google charges a once off $25 fee to be registered as a Google Play developer. So once you've paid the $25, you can publish as many apps as you want. But in order to get registered, there is that once off $25 fee. So you're going to continue to payment. So you're going to continue to payment. You're going to make the payment to Google, which I'm not going to do since I already have an account and Google frowns on people that have more than one account. And then you are going to complete your account details. So you'll just fill in all the details needed. Once you have your account set up and ready, you are going to see something like this, which is all your applications. Here's a few applications that we've built already. Um, and you are going to click on add new application. So default language will be English for your application. If it is, you're going to give your application a title. It's a good idea to try and do a short punchy title because if you look at those little icons on the screens you will notice that there's not a lot of text around at the bottom there so you can't have like a 40 word title because you're not going to see it and then you are going to upload your APK so you're just going to click on upload APK oh, I need to give it a title test app upload APK and you're going to click over here and upload your APK. That is fairly simple. You can, this is for publishing, beta testing, is if you only want certain people to have access and alpha testing, we're not going to screw around with that. We're just going to work on the production or in other words, get the app out there. And then there's a whole bunch of settings that you need to go through. I'm obviously not going to upload the APK just now. So you can have releases you can do your store listing your store listing is very important because obviously people will download your application based on the descriptions and the words that you put in there so you're going to have a short description you're going to have a full description and then you have to upload a whole bunch of different size images and icons for your application but all of the information is right here on Google Play, so it's fairly simple. You just go through it and read the sizes and create the apps that you need on those sizes. If you have a promo video for your application, you will put the YouTube URL in there. You're going to select an application type. Is it an application or a game? I would guess that most of ours would be applications. You would select a category. Once you've picked application, you can select a category where it falls in, lifestyle, music, audio, maps, navigation, whatever. Uh, you can do a content rating. Now, the content rating is if there's any mature content in there. So you're just going to click everyone, hopefully, unless you made an app for a strip club, I would assume. 
and then there's a new content rating here that is a questionnaire that you got to fill out that google asks you to go through ah you can't do the content before you do the apk so let's just go back to that store listing you fill out all of this information and as you complete the information you will check these little ticks next to each one as you complete the information and everything is fine the little tick will turn green and then you're going to have your pricing and distribution we're just going to put it in all countries we're going to select free you can select paid and charge for your app if you want uh, if your ad contains if your app contains ads you have to say yes over here so google can check it out uh, device categories you can choose where you want to distribute your application android tv uh, user programs so yeah it's a lot of information you got to read through it and fill it out as it goes through and then you have your in-app products we don't really have any in-app products yet and then we've got our services and APIs, which we should generally not worry about for now. And there you go. After that, when all your little tick box ticks are green, you can just press publish app over here and you will and your app will be published.